All right, thanks for joining. I'm Alex, the RV Man Rose. Welcome to another episode here through the airwaves and the clouds into your cell phone to show you the KZ Sportsman Classic 160 RBT. This is nice, it's lightweight, it's big enough for the whole family, you can sleep everyone in it. Uh, I'll walk around the outside first real quick and then show you some stuff inside. On the outside, A-frame, all steel, it's welded together, all one piece, very easy. You do have your 20 pound propane tank, a lot of times you can use those exchangeables at the uh, at your 7-Eleven or grocery store. Spot for your battery, there will be a 12 volt deep cycle battery. Also, I want to mention up here the rack guard. So you're driving on the road, you got some stones, some things kicking up. This is all one metal piece here. It's also angled downwards, so anything that hits here will, will naturally angle downwards, not into the back of your truck. And there is a dampening quality there too. So it's going to hit here and fall straight to the ground instead of back into your vehicle. Around the end here, you do have a, a solar prep, Furion solar prep, Furion, and real quick, just a plug for them, they only make stuff for RVs. So they make the first edition, the second, they're all the way up in the 20s for some of the appliances, things that are made to bounce down the road when you're traveling um, to your next destination. So a little briefcase uh, solar panel just to show you how they're also, if you're moon knocking, dry camping, it'll keep all your 12 volt stuff uh, powered and fresh, like your lights and your USB ports. Charge your phone, all the important stuff there. Underneath, you do have a big storage here, Goes left and right also inside there for, mostly for your outside stuff, your tents, your uh, tables and your chairs and things that you wanna keep outside, not inside, but the rest of your clean stuff. After a long day of camping, if you're a cold weather camper, you can come home to Chrome. This is the back of your furnace. Fine for your furnace there. You can actually keep your chair outside and it'll keep you a little, little warmer outside or you'll feel the, the heat exhaust. Uh, one ton of full outside for a crock pot or TVs or whatever you wanna keep outside also. And the doors, you're on a big windy day or your kids are uh, coming in and out these things here are friction doors so they will stop without slamming and breaking and causing more uh, more maintenance for you outside speakers notice they're outside they're protruding outside so you will have uh, one small hole in there instead of the whole thing um, as one big hole like some of the, the recessed or uh, or flush speakers are so less less chance water to get inside there also LED strip those are nice. I'll come back to some of these things here. Your rear bumper, spare tires are already on there. Set up for attachments. There's a whole bunch of attachments, grills and um, tables and all kinds of things you can put on there also. Back here, it is hollow. Your sewer hose fits in there perfectly. It's kind of what it's made for to keep that outside. Again, keep it outside, not inside with your clean stuff. These tent ends are some umbrella material. It's the same material they use in BMW uh, convertibles and, and some yachts. Um, it's breathable, so it's not real stuffy inside. There's actually a whole bunch of little tiny pinholes that allows uh, the material to breathe. Now, if it is raining, you can get water inside unless you, you basically fill those pinholes. So a little quick spray with water, it'll fill those up and actually seals everything together. There's ways to weatherproof these, waterproof them also. Um, but really, it's, leave it as is. If it's going to rain, just a little bit of spray and it'll seal those pinholes for you. This end here will actually open you're wondering why would this open here? Well, this will open and come all the way open here uh, for a fire exit. So two queen beds, either side, one here and one on the other side. And this will actually open for a fire exit. You don't see that in all of them. And these will flip up too for your privacy and everything else also. Do you watch TV? Well, it's cable box here, so you can hook up direct TV, satellite. Um, some of the campsites will have a cable that you can actually plug into or a bigger antenna you can get also. It does come with an antenna, but you can get one of those super antennas to get more channels if you really wanted to. On the top, there is a gutter, a little drip edge. It's okay to have water, but you want to keep that water moving. Keep it away from the camper. Um, along the bottom, it does have your fresh water tank, your gray and black tanks. That's your discharge for those. So, all your discharge will come out of here. Run your black tank, that'll empty your toilet. Run your gray tank, pull that, and it'll empty all your soapy water, so your shower. Your sink, it'll kind of rinse that out and help clean it a little bit. 14 inch steel wheels. These are E-coated, it's like powder coated to prevent from, from rusting there. Being from Buffalo, New York, we do get salt in the roads or if you're ocean side, there'll be some salt and salt water there. It'll help from uh, prevent that from rusting up. We'll vent for your refrigerator just behind there. 30 amp shoreline power, hooking up to uh, campgrounds or even side of the roads. Uh, and the other rest up areas that'll provide you that too. Fresh tank fill, there's a 30 gallon fresh tank. 
Um, water supply in this you can use for a shower or for your sink. Um, anything that you need the water for. City connection, city water is if you're at a campsite or anywhere with a hose in your driveway, whatever. It'll keep you um, full of water there. Back of your hot water tank, it's a six gallon hot water supply. Uh, just to respect your, your home water supply, hot water tanks, usually about 30 gallons. This is six. Your fresh water tank will hold 30, so you can get basically a whole hot water tank um, access at your, at your fingers there. There's a fire exit also here. Notice I left that open a little bit. That's your third fire exit, so if anything ever happened inside, you're, you know, you're prepared for it. You can get out. This awning is power. There's no more hooks pulling these things out or winding them up and down. You don't have to worry about that. What happens if it's raining all day? You know, you're kind of stuck inside or underneath the awning. What happens? Water can get on this awning here, kind of create a puddle in the middle of it. And really, if you don't pay attention to that, it can kind of all come crashing down. What you can do is you can take this and pitch your awning so water will naturally fall to one side or the other. And if that doesn't work and it's still starting to, to collect up there, you do have these arms, they're release arms. That'll release actually some of the water and it'll all come, come down for you. So you don't really have to worry about water as much with these. Here, come on, I wanna show you the inside too. On the way in, around your windows, water can actually find its way places. There's weep holes in the bottom. So if any water does get behind there, around the framing, it's gonna weep right out. So keep the water moving, like I said before. If you're out, if you're not an avid hiker like myself, um, more of a beverage kind of sore, you come back from a long day of hiking, you're kind of wobbly and then the beverage is added to that, you have this big grab bar, big solid step. So getting in and out, you don't have to worry about it too much, but your uh, safety security walking up and down. First queen, queen size tenant on the left here. Now you do have uh, just a couple notes. You do have a smoke uh, fire uh, smoke detector. You do have your thermostat, and you do have a CO and propane detector below too. So all your safety stuff, and inside the door, fire extinguisher. So let's say you're at the campfire, marshmallow goes flying, lands in somebody's uh, blanket, fire starting up. It's right inside the door. You have to go inside. Um, necessarily to get that. You just kind of reach around, grab the fire extinguisher, do what you got to do. Two burner stove, sink, some counter space, microwave, radio, speakers you can adjust for inside and outside or both. And you get storage all over the place. This is real big inside for your pots and pans or popcorn, whatever you want to keep in there. Real big storage space all the way. This is all one open piece underneath there in the bottom continues this way access to your plumbing and everything now the fridge this does sleep a lot of people like i said before so you're gonna need a lot of food a lot of beverages you get your separate fridge and freezer a lot of units in this size won't only have the one combo this gets you both fridge and freezer this comes down pretty far into here too so you do get a good amount of room for your stuff Big pantry, also used for clothing. It's got your rack up top. If you wear your shirt and tie out like I do in, in camping. Your second uh, queen bed tenant over here. Then that will drop down to a bed. There's two poles underneath will come out. This will squeeze in between here and the lip. Drop right down. And then your back sides will come over in the middle to fill the gap in there. So another sleeper there. Also this here will slide out this way for another bed. That'll slide all the way. And this will come in to fill the, the end there so you can have sleeping spaces everywhere. There's uh, ports all over the place. There's one 10 volt plugs up here. It's a plate up here. One 10 volt down here. There's USBs all over the place. So you got room for your iPods and phones and everything else. Spot for a TV up here. So you can watch your TV while you're out. You do have the cable and antenna like I said before. And then AC unit. It's 13,000 BTU uh, AC. So it's powerful, it will uh, cool everything up after a long day of camping, hiking, whatever you got going on. Finally, the bathroom. We give you a decent sized bathroom, it's not like the Tommy Boy movies. You got a sink inside, a little medicine cabinet with the mirror. You get the corner shower uh, and the bathtub, or a, a toilet. Vent up top too, keep the moisture out for taking your shower. And uh, again, it's all about keeping the moisture away from the camper. It's okay to have it, but you want to control it. Use your fans, your tenons, 
very specific there. And any questions you can call and ask me too. But I'm Alex Rose, the RV man, Colton RV. Thanks for coming.